What's going on guys? So I'm out here and I'm going to be doing some barbecuing soon. I want to take a moment to talk about barbecue sauce and do a taste test. I have some Motor City barbecue sauce here, uh, four flavors. They actually changed the recipe on their spicy ones and they also did a little bit of rebranding. So I wanted to try them on camera for you, talk about it a little bit, give you the backstory on this bottle because it's already open. Um, but yeah, don't mind me, the noise in the background, it's raining and also some of the snow's melting because it's like, you know, in the high 30s right now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to barbecue up some uh, chicken thighs in a little bit, and I wanted to see which sauce to try. Now, Motor City Barbecue Sauce, I found out about this through YouTube videos. I had no idea it existed, saw a couple YouTubers talking about it, said it was the best sauce on the planet, and it really got me convinced. I had to try it for myself, and they were right. It is the best barbecue sauce on the planet, seriously. And I went nuts for this stuff. I mean, that, this is the only barbecue sauce I used for like two years straight. Eventually, my stock dried up. I had no more of it. Didn't want to spend more money on it at the time. So I went without it for a couple of years. And um, it's funny because when I uh, met Christina, my now wife, when we were dating, I had uh, cooked for her a couple of times using the sauce. And she agreed. Best barbecue sauce she ever had in her life. And eventually it dried up, so we would talk about it. Every now and again, we'd be like, oh, we gotta order some more uh, Motor City. You know, hopefully they're, they're still in business, best sauce on the planet. Yeah, and we always talked about it, but we never did. So this went on for a couple years, and this past Christmas, I thought it'd be funny as a joke to get her a bottle of the sauce for, uh, for a stocking stuffer. And uh, I did, and she was extremely excited about it when she opened it. Um, but I noticed that they changed their, their branding a little bit. The original one is now called Meat Candy. Different logo, different, you know, label and stuff. But this one is the original recipe. This one has not changed. And that's why it's open, because I gave it to her, and we already cooked with it a couple times. Uh, but I'm going to do a taste test again on this for you on camera. And then the three hotter ones, or the spicy ones, are supposed to be a different recipe. And they're supposed to be less hot. From what I understand, they've cut back on the heat levels. Because the Trinity, this was their hottest one they used to have. I used to suffer eating this. It was so delicious. But it was so hot, it was uncomfortably hot, in other words. It was, it was too hot for most people to enjoy. Even their, um, their scorpion was you know, really hot at the time. So we'll see how much they cut back on the heat and if it still tastes the same. So I'm going to do a quick uh, taste test for you. Uh, as far as prices on these, these are 12-ounce bottles. Um, I believe they did change the bottle. I remember it being a little bit different. But they're all 7 bucks except for the Trinity, which uses three different uh, Super Hots. And this one, I think, is $10. All right, so still reasonably priced. They're also in glass bottles. I don't know if they were, I think it's just a different shape. I think they used to be in glass bottles too. But anyway, so let's start off with the uh, the meat candy. It says, well, I'm not going to read the whole, you know, our sauce is awesome because every sauce company says that, right? Ingredients, uh, tomato concentrate, distilled vinegar, mustard seed, honey, molasses, sugar, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, natural hickory smoke flavor, right? So this one has no heat. Just a good old barbecue sauce, right? Brown sugar style barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna get just a little dab on the spoon here. Cause I already know what this tastes like, but I wanna try it for you. Has a great consistency. It kind of, um, it's kind of like just a little bit um, thinner than honey, you know, but very similar to honey as far as like texture and consistency. Bottoms up. just perfect oh. it's so hard to express how good that is if you like barbecue sauce this is something you have to try if every time you go to McDonald's and I ask you what sauce you want for your nuggets and you, you say barbecue you gotta try this if you do tons of grilling and you put barbecue sauce on on chicken and, and pork and vegetables like oh, sometimes I'll brush a little barbecue sauce on some asparagus you know I'll wait till asparagus is like half cooked brush some sauce on that Rotate it, it'll kind of caramelize on that. Oh my God, pretty much any vegetable you throw in the grill. Sometimes onions, you know, if I'm having a steak or something, I'll throw some uh, button mushrooms on the uh, the grill. Uh, also some uh, some sliced onions, and the same thing, I'll brush it very lightly, not like really coating it like you would chicken, but just a real light brush. It, it gives it a really great, like kind of smoky, sweet flavor. But yeah, I mean, it's super sweet. So you have to like the sweet barbecue sauces, but there's absolutely no heat whatsoever. It's just a really, really good barbecue sauce. Seriously, the best I've ever had, hands down. So that has not changed just the label and the name. Meat candy. It is. It's meat candy. So here's where things get interesting because I, I know these are different and I want to try them out. 
So this one's Holy Smoke. And I'm going to do this in the order of how hot they're supposed to be. Ho Holy Smoke's supposed to have a little bit of heat. Then the Scorpion's supposed to have, you know, some heat more than this. And then the Trinity is the hottest with the three different peppers. So Holy Smoke, um, same ingredients, literally, but with the addition of ghost pepper. All right, so identical to this, but with some ghost pepper in it. So we will see. So let's get this, uh, this label off. Because these are still sealed, haven't tried these yet. Purposely saved them to do it on uh, camera for you guys. I don't need to shake it up or anything. All right, like the lid. Okay. So, holy smoke. Okay. Very similar flavor, but not exactly the same flavor. The ghost pepper actually influences the flavor in this case. I don't know if there's a different combination of the ingredients, but it does have a slightly different flavor. But also the heat is starting to creep up a little bit. I'll tell you what though, it's barely there. It's more of a, I don't know, a little bit of a, a tingle. But it's really not like, a, it's hard to express too because uh, most hot sauces that have, um, you know, any kind of ghost peppers in there, it'll creep up, but it'll be a pretty powerful burn. This has a ghost pepper burn, but it has less strength than even Tabasco sauce. It is really like just barely spicy. I think that if you, if you didn't like stuff that was spicy, you would still like this. It, it's a extremely, extremely tolerable heat. It's just... Like I said, it's barely there. It's just in the back of the throat. Like I said, it creeps up. You didn't get it at first. Once it's long gone, you swallow the sauce or you're eating the food or whatever. It starts to, it starts to build just like the, the slightest bit. It's seriously, it's less spicy than Tabasco or Frank's Red Hot or Louisiana sauce or any, any hot sauce. Extremely mild, but you can tell there's something in there. Believe it or not, so far, I actually, I actually prefer the Holy Smoke over the meat candy, for myself anyway. Wow, that's, that's interesting. They really did kind of dumb down the heat on that. But the flavor is still a, something else. It's amazing. All right, let's try the uh, the scorpion. And as you might guess, scorpion uh, peppers in here. So, literally the same exact ingredients again, only instead of ghost pepper, they have the scorpion butch tea. The Trinidad scorpion butch tea. So let me read... I have to say about this. Uh, we'll leave you salivating as we have masterfully blended tang tangy garlic and smoky hickory with a sting courtesy of the Trinidad Maruga scorpion pepper. All right, let's try it. Let's see, scorpion. Now I remember this. I remember this being before, like a, a hot sauce lovers type heat. You know, where it was definitely tolerable and enjoyable to me. It wasn't too hot before. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, same thing. Very smooth, consistent texture on this. Very well blended. It's a it's a thicker sauce, but it's still very pourable. All right, scorpion. Hmm. All right. There's not much smoke on this one compared to the Holy Smoke. So those ghost peppers really influence a lot of that smoky flavor. Um, so far, all right, a little bit, little bit of heat. I'm, so, I'm waiting for the heat to, to build because right now it's the same as the Holy Smoke. It's not really hotter to me. Okay. All right, I can see it being slightly hotter but it's really not noticeable wow all right so if you want the meat candy right with a little bit of kick but pretty much the same flavor that's the scorpion this tastes the same as this to me 
Whereas, like I said, the Holy Smoke is a, is a, a different flavor, slightly different. Barely difference in the heat, barely noticeable, really. Still extremely tolerable. I actually think, my wife doesn't like anything spicy, but I, I still think she can eat either one of these and be fine. So let's go right to Trinity. All right, Trinity was, of course, their hottest version before, and it's still the hottest. Uh, ingredients, identical. But the peppers, the, the Trinity, the three peppers that are in this are habaneros, ghost peppers, and the Trinidad Maruga scorpion. All right. So we will see how much pepper influence is in this one. Let's see what they have to say about this one. Created with the true chili heads desire for both the top shelf flavor and scorching heat. Um, a blend of hickory smoke and garlic. I haven't really tasted specifically garlic in the other ones. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's such a nice blend of flavors. Not one specific flavor comes out. It really is together. Like sometimes with hot sauces, you could pick up, okay, there's the garlic, oh, there's the uh, the onion, there's the this, that, mustard, you know, sometimes in, in hot sauces they'll come out. This is a very, you know, um, very melded flavor, so. All right, we'll see. Essentially, this is supposed to be the same as the meat candy, but super hot. Kidding me? Drop my spoon. All right. Wipe it on my pant leg. <laughs> I'm going for it. If I say I taste hair or something, you'll know why. All right. Let's get a little bit more of this. Trinity. Okay, I already have the heat. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Same flavor to me as the uh, meat candy, as a base. I'm already drooling. They must have a lot of hobs in here, habaneros, because I, I, I got an immediate uh, mouth burn, tongue, lips, gums, um, Definitely an intense, pretty intense, like fresh habanero mouth burn. But the throat's creeping up a little bit from the, um, you know, Trinidad uh, pepper. Possibly the ghost there. I don't have any of the ghost flavor. So, all right, this one actually has a kick. I still don't think it's, like, ridiculous. I think this is hotter than, you know, say, your Frank's Red Hot or, you know, um, some of the vinegar-based hot sauces. Um, like Tabasco and stuff. It's definitely hotter than that, but it's still very enjoyable to me. I'll tell you what, I, I really like the change. I really do. Uh, this used to be like way too hot for me to enjoy. I'm, I'm assuming that they, the ingredients were pretty much the same. It's just the levels of peppers were dumbed down a little bit or, or lessened just to make it more, you know, public friendly. Awesome. If you want, if you definitely like the flavor, if you try the meat candy, you're like, this is great. I'd like a spicy version of this. This is where it's at. Um, it's not really like, you know, chili lovers level, you know, it's not going to blow your top off or anything. It's a really nice, like soothing afterburn going on here. Um, but, uh, I'll tell you what, my favorite has to be the, uh, the Holy Smoke. Seriously, this one is something else. It is, uh, the flavors are slightly different. Like I said, that, that ghost pepper is really influencing the flavors. So you have the really great meat candy base, you know? but a little extra smokiness going on there and just such a slight touch of heat. It's perfect. And I think that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this today on my, uh, my chicken thighs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Motor City, still the best barbecue sauce on this planet. No joke, still affordable, which is good. And uh, if you guys have ever had this sauce, I want you to comment below this video. Let me know, let everyone else know. You don't have to let me know, because I already know. But let, let everyone else know what you thought of it. Um, and if you do end up getting some of this sauce, come back to this video and let everyone know what you thought of it because everyone I've ever talked to who I've talked into getting this absolutely loves it. I've probably gotten 
I want to say maybe five people, for sure, like five people who I know personally, I said, look, you got to get this, and they ordered some, and they got it, and they thanked me. They're like, holy moly, I mean, that's, that's ridiculously delicious. Uh, I brought it up, had it with my family. Every one of my family members agrees, best barbecue sauce ever. Now I got to bring it into my, uh, I bring it up to my in-laws next time I go and give them some. But uh, seriously, if you're into your barbecue and you're into sauces, I know a lot of people out there make their own sauce and stuff, uh, which is cool. That's always nice because you can really fine tune it exactly how you like, you know, different flavors and stuff. But, oh man, if you go to the store and you buy gallons and gallons of just regular old barbecue sauce because you use a lot, you owe it to yourself to at least try this. Really, the best stuff I've ever had in my life. So that's it. Um, uh, it's making me hungry now. <laughs> so I'm going to make some chicken and I think I have some, uh, I have some mushrooms to go with it. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Take care.